Hi Kirby fans, so today what we're going to do is see if we can get that awesome G3 back together. So what we'll do is go straight to it. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Again, those new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. Now don't forget anything I use in the video today, there will be links in the description below of the best place to get your Kirby products from. So make sure you check those out. So in today's episode, what we're gonna be doing is getting that classic G3 back together. All my parts have turned up for the one, I'm missing a few for the second. Um, so what we'll do is get this 1993 classic back together and see how well she looks and if, if we can actually get it looking as new as possible. So what we'll do is quickly get some polishing done and then we're gonna spray the cases and then start getting assembled. So what we'll do is go straight to it.
so as you've just seen, we've just polished up all those aluminium parts. I've sprayed up these as well, both of them. I am sure some parts for my second one, so I won't be getting that one uploaded with this one. If you watched a previous video, when I took it apart, there had been a damaged fan in there. Now, it was old. I don't know how long that fan's been in there, but it's gotta be at least 22 years minimum. That, that's been sitting for that long. Now, there was some heat dispersion and it did damage that piece there. So I have got a load of new parts, but I'll just quickly go through. So what we're actually gonna to change today, what we're gonna put in there new. There's a lot of G3 stuff I couldn't get hold of. So it has been replaced with G7 stuff. I'm still waiting on a lead from the UK. So. <laughs> I find it cheaper to buy more leads from the UK and because obviously if I buy them from the States, they're gonna be 120 volts. We're 240 here over here in Australia, um, but I do find them cheaper to buy from the UK. I will put a link in the description of where to get them from. Um, I just find them a lot cheaper than buying them from Australia. They do come with a converter. So again, it, it's you're not losing anything by buying one from England. You'll get a UK plug on it, but you will get a converter to plug it into an Australian plug which is pretty cool. And the guy sends you free bells. Uh, right, so we're replacing this. So we've got a new one, new front plate with the bearing. The front wheels were pretty fine. Now I'm undecided whether to keep these. I'll keep them for now. If I can get some original back wheels, that'd be fantastic. But for now, I'm gonna put G7 ones on. So we've got some new G7 wheels to go on there and some new hook caps. Um, for the second one, I was missing some hook caps. So I think they were real hook caps I was missing. I was missing the, the bearing and, and something else. But this one, we've got everything. So we've got, like I said, new wheels, new front wheels, new hook caps. We're gonna put new back wheels and new hook caps on. We're fitting a new fan. Now the fan isn't still isn't in the package. You had to take it out for some reason. When it got shipped, there was some sort of watermelon or something leaked all over the box. And Australia Post wrapped it up. I, I don't know why, but it made everything really, really sticky. Um, anything, anything that was in a plastic bag really, really sticky. Lucky it didn't get on the bumper or anything else, so that was fine. Got a brand new bumper. I've got to get a pinstripe for this. I reckon your local car shop would do a, th a three mil pinstripe. Um, these were actually stuck on the pinstripes on these. They weren't spray painted like the later generations. We've got a new rug plate and we've also got a brand new brush roll, original brush roll as well. So we're gonna fit some new brushes into it as well. If you watched one of my previous videos, I did refurbish the tech drive while I was waiting for all my parts to arrive. That was, I don't know, four weeks back. I, I think it, it premiered last week or the week before, I'm not too sure. Um, if you haven't checked that video out, make sure at the end of this one, you check that out. It will give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to rebuild one of these. Um, just how to service it, grease it, um, and strip it down. So what we'll do is we'll zoom in and start getting this baby back together. Right, so as we start, before we start, I'll literally show you, I couldn't get the actual powder gray color. I don't know if you can get it in the States. Um, the closest I could get here in Australia, and I don't know if it's the same in the UK, um, would have been Surf Miss White, which would have been too white, or June. June was the closest, and this is the spray paint I actually used. So this was the closest color I could get to the Kirby. Now there's a bit of yellowing on, on this anyway. Um, I will try and do some retro brighting on it as the, um, later, at a later date, but that's pretty close to what it was, as close as can be. I don't know if it's picking that up on camera, but yeah, that's just a bit of a tip if you're looking for paint to actually match your G3. That's probably the closest you can get. That or Surf Miss White, which is a bit of a gray, but it's still gonna be too bright compared to this. So what we'll do is jump in now and start getting it back together.
Well, so as you can see, that a lot of work went into this one, and there's a lot of new parts. I've had to use a lot of G7 parts purely because we couldn't get the G3 parts. If I can get hold of some G3 parts, that would be great, and I'll actually change the wheels. I'm gonna keep the front wheels, if I can get the back wheels, the G3 parts, that would be absolutely awesome. I'm still waiting on a lead, so I'm using a G4 lead for now. Uh, and so what we'll do is we'll start fitting the handle, the bag, and then we'll give it a test run. So I'm just gonna slot the handle in. As you can see, she's a lot cleaner than she was when we actually started. And then we'll just fit a new HEPA filter bag in there. Now, fingers crossed, this actually turns on. <laughs> I've changed, as you've seen, we've changed, put new bushes in it. Um, it's had a total overhaul on the tech drive, which I did a separate video in uh, a few weeks back. So if, I'll put an eye card to that if you want to rebuild a tech drive. Again, any parts I've used in this video today, I will put links in the description below. Right, so we'll just zoom in, have a look around, see how good she looks, and uh, then we'll test her out. Right, so I'm hoping you'll agree that it's came out pretty good uh, compared to what it was. Um, I think she shined up quite well. I'm just zoom in a bit just so you can see how good that shine is on it. And you can see that looks outstanding. I don't know if it's picking up on camera as well, but it looks absolutely awesome. It looks like a new machine. Um, so the only thing that really spoils it is the fact I've had two G7 parts. But you can only do what you can do. So I'll just zoom around and uh, Show you the rest of her. So you can see that new spray job. I think it was pretty close to what it was. Um, it's the closest I could get. It's a lot fraction darker than what the actual powder coat was originally. But it's just give it that nice new finish and a nice fresh look. And then as we pan around to the black, everything's original on it apart from the wheels. And the bag, there's not that many marks on the bag itself. You can see she looks pretty good, and we'll just pan around to the other side. So, from the side, we've got obviously the G7 wheels, but we've got the original boot, um, which came up quite well. It was absolutely filthy. This one was actually filled with plastic, this bag, for some reason. You can see, we've still got the original decor on there saying Generation 3. So, it will look a lot better when we get that G7 lead when that actually turns up. Um, and I will be doing the refurb on the other one. So we'll just see if this actually works so all my hard work hasn't gone to waste. Right, so the switch of truth. Let's <laughs> see if she actually works. Now, it's quite surreal because I haven't used one of these. The last one I actually used in Generation 3. I was actually selling one, demonstrating them. So this will be is like, amazing for me in that respect. Um, it just brings back a lot of really good memories um, of working for Kirby. Not so much the polishing. I hated repolishing the demonstration model every time I, I used it. It was <laughs> I just hated that part. But um, yeah, we'll see if she runs. Right, so let's get it turned on and make sure that all that hard work wasn't done in vain. So headphone users, turn them down just in case, and we'll see how she works. The button of truth. So I wore the belt on. Turn on. Set drive on. Turn on.
and sweet as a nut. Uh, it feels like new actually. It's quite surreal considering I used to sell these 30 years ago. They're a really nice machine. Um, it's bringing up the pole really well. So the brush roll works, tech draw is working awesome, really, really smooth. You've still got that bit of aggressiveness that you had with the G3s and the G4s, but a great machine. What we'll do is we'll get an airflow box and we'll get a CFM test and that will be in the following video. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, as you've seen, there was a lot of work went into that G3 and to the least but say a lot of money. Um, there are links in the description of everything I used today, so make sure you check those out. In the next video, we're going to be doing a CFM test with that G3, seeing how powerful it actually is, whether it's close to what it should be or when it was actually new. Um, like I said, that tech drive is absolutely awesome on it. It's it's still aggressive like, it, like they normally are on the G3s and G4s. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and make sure you comment down below on anything else you'd like to see. It really, really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Now don't forget, 1500 subscribers, I'm going to announce what that next Kirby giveaway is and at 2,000 subscribers, we'll start that competition. So make sure if you're not already, make sure you subscribe to actually enter that competition and make sure you're able to comment down below. For those who are new to the channel, if you're getting value out of this content, then contemplate showing your support by slapping that subscribe button, it's absolutely free. Ding that bell for notification so you don't miss any upcoming episodes. Give us a big thumbs up and comment down below. I will reply to the comment, and if you like what you comment, I'll pin it to the video. So what we'll do is we'll go to any bloopers, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hi Kirby fans, welcome back to the channel. Are they in? Ding that bell for notifications so you don't miss any equipment. Yeah. Um, um, so, um, 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 I.